Hey folks, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I, uh, my day job changed and I got hired into a large company and between the onboarding and the immediately buried alive under work, this is the first chance I've been able to do one, so I'll, sorry about that. But you remember the video I did about the compact portable Model 3 where I got everything working except for the plasma screen, which was shot. Uh, I told you I was going to do something different. I didn't want to cannibalize another computer, but something happened. First, I looked for the chips online anywhere, and I, the top chips of the screen and the bottom chips are two different types of chips. And one is available in Hong Kong at 25 bucks a chip and the other is unavailable as far as I could tell anywhere but I ran in on eBay into a another compact portable 3 but the case was busted the motherboard was cracked and the screen was blown I don't know if you can see. See all those white dots? The tube has been breached and all that is debris that flew in. So this screen is totally unusable. So I'm not wasting anything. The whole thing is shot. But the one thing it does have is a lot of chips. I know that it's possible that they're not working either, but we're going to take a shot at taking the chips off of that board, putting them on my board, and see what we can do. For one thing, it's a whole lot cheaper than 25 bucks a chip. And uh, another, taking the chips off this board with my heat gun, I can test out on that board how hard or how easy it is to get the chip off without damaging that plastic circuitry. So let's have at it. Now remember, this is what the screen looks like on my good one, or half good. It works in this area most of the time. Apparently, the top and bottom chips, because this is the way it's supposed to look right here. Through here, you can see that you're basically seeing it halfway. There's a bunch of the chips in one direction that are not working. But over here, you can't see anything and there is text over here so I'm gonna take a chance of replacing the chips over in this area top and or bottom and I should be able to see if there's some improvement because there's nothing there now so replacing at least one of those chips if it works should bring back this in some fashion we'll see well, the one good thing of not having to worry about the display that I'm removing the chips from is I can use, while I use heat to remove this, I can see how fast this gets damaged from heat to see if I can't use heat to remove the legs of the chip that I'm taking off of the good board. I'll have to try something else. Another idea I have in mind, if I can't use heat to remove the bad chips from my good display. So let's see how bad this is. Get that out of the way. Well, that wasn't bad at all. Holy cow. Well, let me try to get the other side. Oop, sorry. The cable of my heat gun's wrapped around the camera. Here we go. All right, let's see how we do with the other side. Hmm, hold on. I think I'll need something else. Get this chip off of here.
Wow. I'm really surprised. This may work. Look at that. I got the chip off without any damage to any of the legs. And from what I can tell, no damage to the plastic that I removed it from. Get you down here. There we go. No damage to the plastic at all. That's very good. Well, it won't be as easy to put the chip on the new board, but I'm, uh, I'm hopeful now. Okay, this is a 1518 chip, so that's the ones that are used on the top row of display chips. So let's see if I'm as lucky removing it from my board as I was removing it from the donor board. Okay, of course on mine there was a bit of a glitch. This board has some sort of sealant on here, almost like a lacquer, that's causing it harder to get my chips off than it was on the donor board. So uh, I ended up switching to the next chip over and I managed to get that off. So I brought you back. I had to get close to the board. I couldn't have the camera in front of it. I brought you back so you can see me get the other side off hopefully without breaking it there we go it's off yeah there take a look that's my chip I've taken off you it's got like I said like a lacquer that's why you can still see the uh, copy of the traces on it my donor chip has nothing. Let's hope that I can put this back on without a problem from that uh, lacquer cover. That's one side, I think. It's almost hard to tell. All right, let me get you out of the way for a second so I can take a close up look at this. It looks like it may have actually worked as long as A, the chip's not already bad, and B, the heat I'm applying doesn't destroy it if it does. So I'm going to hit one more trace that's a little... There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. It looks like it's all attached. I guess we can uh, plug in the board and see. Well, what I didn't just post is the fact the first chip didn't do anything. So I went ahead off camera and took out two top ones and two bottom ones, or three more. Put them in and then realized the first chip had two legs that weren't completely soldered to the board. So I added a little extra heat to that chip and this is what we've got. Look, we have a cursor. Remember on the earlier video, everything over here was dead. Nothing was showing. We can actually now see the memory counting up. I'm 
pretty excited. You can even read right now everything on the screen. It doesn't look fantastic, but I'll try to get that Muir pattern out of there. Um, you can see everything. You can read command prompt. This is this section is almost this section is as good as this one. It looks like one or two chips in one direction is still not perfect. It may be a leg on one of the four chips still. It, I would think it would have to be. Or one of the chips is not good that I put in and have to be replaced. But I, I'm tickled to death. you got to remember, this board, or this screen, had a pretty severe burn-in over here because this first little section had been dead so long that it was dead back when this was used every day and caused burn-ins. So I'm pretty tickled. I'm off camera. I'm going to keep working on some chips and we'll see. I'll, off camera, I'm going to keep working on this and I'll bring you back and see how far I can get. Hang with me. Well, I've replaced 14 chips and actually I've replaced two uh, twice. They may have been bad on the other board. And I've had to go along and keep checking. There'd be a leg here and a leg there that uh, had stuck up and I had to carefully hit it again with the soldering iron one at a time. And this is what I've got. Completely repaired. Not a line in it. I didn't think, actually I didn't think I was able to do that. I was hoping to get it where it would be usable. But I knuckled under and kept changing chips until I finally got a perfectly good screen. And I got a few chips left over in case something happens in the future. So, I'm sorry for taking so long for part two. But uh, I hope you enjoy this and stick with me. I'll make one sooner than I did the last time. I just thought I'd give you one last sh glance and uh, see how it looks put together. It's finally back to the way it was when it was new. Could use a little cleaning, but functions like when it was new and that's what's important. Catch you later.